because let's really tell y'all how she has no name is affiliated to this case. I can tell you why every time a post is being made about Monifa, she defends her so hard because she's not going to tell y'all that she was a part of the 051 gang. The same. Did I just hear you correctly? Because let's really tell y'all how she has no name is affiliated to this case. I can tell you why every time a post is being made about Monifa, she defends her so hard because she's not going to tell y'all that she was a part of the 051 gang. The same. Okay, hold that thought. So I'm part of the 051 Young Money Gang. Okay, let's go see who they are. Okay, so for those of y'all that don't know, and the slow one that claims to be from Chicago, 051 Young Money is a set of Mickey Cobras and Black Pea Stones. They were formerly a gangster disciple set in the early to mid-2000s. This particular set of Mickey Cobras is currently at war with multiple other gangs in the city, mostly notable the Black Disciples Gang. Now, I don't know about Monifa's daddy. What I do know is Monifa and both of her brothers are Black Disciples. So it would stand to reason if her dad wasn't in any way affiliated with anything, the kids probably followed his footsteps. So he would be a black disciple, not a Mickey Cobra. But I know where you're getting the Mickey Cobras from. Kimber, who lie Because she always said Teresa was one. Now, just for clarification, Mickey Cobras were founded in 1954 after a man named Henry Mickey Cogwell on the west side of Chicago, Illinois. Personally, I think you and your new BFF, y'all got y'all's medications mixed up. Y'all took each other's meds, but I'm going to let this roll out. At the end of the day, you 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 don't want to tell the world that you've been working with King Rob since day one. I mean, we, we got proof of that. But I bet you won't show any proof. The only thing you'll do is bump those gums and you don't got real good ones left. So be careful how you're bumping them. That's what I was saying. At the end of the day, she doesn't want to expose her lies, but she wants to expose everyone else's lies. So I'm here to put all that on the. So are you admitting to lying? Because I exposed you. So you just admitted to lie. You look like Tanasia Walker right there. Wow. Are you really Tanasia Walker? Front line, buddy. Again, she's affiliated with this case, not just through the O51 gang. But she's also kin to the Wilson brothers that she don't want to admit. And is how is that? Is that through marriage, through blood, through your mouth? Which is it? Because I'm confused. Can I get him on a tax write-off? Yeah, you know, Winky, Man Man, and all of them. Yeah, her son. To my son. You just said my son. Hmm. I'm going to have to come back to that one because... You already said something about my son, so we're going to skip this one. We'll come back and make another video on my son. You say what happened, what? Yes, can, I guess I'm going to assume like 051 Melly, yeah. And when you assume, you make an ass out of yourself. Because you're not going to make one out of me. Now, you've already given me credit for debunking, which is proving somebody speaking false information and that angers you you just a minute uh, a minute uh, a minute ago that i show people's lies i expose people's lies and that angers you you also said that i'm related to the wilson brothers and that i am in the 051 young money gang it's not all 51. 
It's 051. You in Chicago, you're supposed to know this. Oh, but you said that I'm in Chicago, correct? Those are your words. That I'm faking that I'm in Texas, but I was really in Chicago. So let's see if you believe your own words, or are you just trying to get the public to believe your lies? Because you just slipped up. And I promise you, we're going to have problems. We already got problems. But I'm going to make your life a living hell. You don't scare me. The little raspy voice that sound like you smoke 30 packs of cigarettes a day, don't scare me. I don't care. But 30 packs a day and no kids around me is perfectly legal. What you smoking with babies at your knee ain't. What about your gangs in Texas? We got gangs here too. What'd you say? Let, let me help you correct. I, I, I might have missed it, you know, you know, because I got air between my ear. Because you said I live in Chicago. Mock me on YouTube, and I promise you, we're going to have problems. We already got problems. But I'm going to make your life a living hell. You don't scare me. That little raspy voice that sound like you smoke 30 packs of cigarettes a day, don't scare me. I don't care about your gangs in Texas. We got gangs here too. Whoopee. In the words of random news, you're looking at the face of a whole goofy who just realized she put her foot in her mouth on live and admitted to knowing that I'm in Texas, I live in Texas, I was born in Texas, ain't never been to Illinois a day in my life. Hi, hi. Oh, that's right, you're high, hi. That's your problem, too high. 